Did you know that your property might be in a flood zone that you've never even heard of, even if it's not on the FEMA map? That is why property owners and developers will hire civil engineers to do the right due diligence to understand what type of floodplain is on their property. Now let me show you some real life examples and the difference between FEMA and some of these other floodplains. So here we are looking at a FEMA map. You can access this via different GIS maps. You can go on FEMA's website and you can go and download a FEMA for MET map. And these FEMA floodplains are often created from models called effective models. And typically FEMA will hire either their own engineer engineers or sometimes different engineering consultants to help develop these models. And a lot of times these models are based on the most current and best information available. So sometimes they might be made from some LIDAR topography, as built, you know, whatever's the best information at the time. And this panel right here happens to have an effective date of 8-28-2008. So in this case, I mean, this area has not really been revised since this date. Now, I'm not going to get into all the specifics of FEMA in the history history behind it. There's other videos that exp explain that way better than me. But based on my professional experience revising these effective models and coordinating through FEMA to get LOMERS and CLOMERS, you know, a lot of times these models, they're not built with the most accurate data. They're based on the best available data. And that's a difference. So let's say if you were looking at a property, let's say all of these three properties right here, you were thinking about buying and you go to your little FEMA floodplain map. Let's say you do your own due diligence and you discover that your property is not within a floodplain. You should never experience anything flooding here, right? Because you have a zone AE elevation of 111.5 here. So you should be good, right? This is why I can't stress enough the importance of hiring professionals who know the areas that you're working in and the properties that you're about to buy. Because after further due diligence, I'll show you why this could be a very big problem. So here we have the floodplain mapping application. This happens to be a jurisdiction where the county has their own watershed model. Now, what we're looking at on this screen was the very same as the FEMA's. You see that little blue line there? That is that zone AE elevation of 111.5. But let me show you a very interesting thing here. I'm going to go over to here to this floodplain boundary, and I'm going to go press that. Notice how big that floodplain gets when I turn on that button right there. All three of those properties are experiencing flooding right in their backyards, and this lot right here is experiencing flooding almost I mean, come on, almost half of the lot. Okay, maybe one third, but way more than you thought, right? And if this property owner didn't know that there was a watershed model here, they would have never known. So this is a watershed boundary in Plant City. It was government board approved and the approval date was in 2022. And like I said, if you don't know the municipality very well, you would have never even known this. And a lot of times these municipalities, especially in Florida, have these county watershed that are based on more accurate data. Why are they based on more accurate data? Because these counties are hiring local engineers, developing these models based on better information, better topo, better as-built, approved plans that have been built. You know, and this was approved in 2022, whereas that FEMA for MET was 2008. And because these models and maps are so much more up to date, they often reveal flood risks that FEMA maps might have missed. And that means that you could be at risk of flooding, even if you're not in the FEMA zone, and if you're not even paying insurance. I wanted to make this short and sweet for you guys. I think that this is very important for property owners, developers, and other civil engineers who are doing due diligence for their projects. I hope this helped. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment below. I will be glad to answer any questions that you have, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.